To get one sausage, you must chop up many sausages. Oh. Yes, we're from the 80s. We don't believe in women's rights. <laughs> backpack, backpack. Nope, nope. You've made the wrong decision. Hello, everyone. Welcome. And thank you, you little cutie, for tuning in to a freshly squeezed episode of Lemon Sucks at Games Movie Night. I'm Lemon. And I'm Wedge. Today, we talk about Lemon's love for s'mores, squishing your toes in the carpet, and Severus Snape. If you can guess the movie from that, drop us a comment below. And while you're at it, don't forget to like and subscribe so you don't miss out on our next chaotic hangout. Just to fill you in on what we're doing, Lemon will be trying to recall the plot of a movie of my choosing. Wait. That's funny because I can't remember anything. While she does that, we will be attempting to play a distracting game. Today that game is Overcooked All You Can Eat. On this episode, we have absolutely zero sponsors. Someday, someone will sponsor us. <laughs> All right, episode one, let's go. <sighs> we are going to play Campfire Cook-Off and talk about movies. I was Ghost Pepper last time. Uh, I'm the red player this time. And I don't think I'm gonna be Ghost Pepper. Campfire Cook-Off? I'm gonna be... Where's the Hoot Hoot? The Hoot Hoot. Uh, up here. In the top right. Haha! -ha. I wanna be the Hoot Hoot. I think I am going to be... <gasps> Look, he's so cute! <laughs> he's in a wheelchair! That's kinda sad because he can't fly. What, what? I just tried to pick the eagle. Is there a raccoon? There should be a raccoon. Uh, yeah, there's a raccoon. Ha <laughs> ha! Ooh, he's got three. One's a red, um, panda, I think. Isn't that a red panda? Uh, it might just be a beige raccoon. Nope, red panda. <laughs> Campfire, campfire cook-off. Is this the campfire cook-off song? Yeah, obviously. Bring me some weenies. <laughs> Celebrated chefs, as you well know, the Onion Kingdom's Culinary Council didn't take too kindly to my experimental cooking. Bark. Mr. Lies. Sorry. All right, all right. To using my ancient evil to raise a diabolical horde of unbred. Bark! There you go. But I've cooked up a glorious idea to win back their favor, and so this is a- and so end this exile from our beloved kingdom with your aid- How Bark. dare you! I didn't do anything that time. That was all you. I don't believe you. My hands aren't even on it. It certainly is not foolish. Foolproof, I would say. Acclaimed culinarians, I have joined the Cookie Scouts. Dot dot dot. <laughs> silence. Silence. Pensive silence. What? It's genius. This way I shall prove my worth. I shall manifest my many inner layers. Because he's an onion. He's an onion. And what better way than to attempt the renowned Trail Mix Trail, an expedition which no cookie crusader takes on lightly. Say Cookie Crusader five times fast. Cookie cool. Nope. <laughs> <laughs> With your scrumptious skills, we will conquer this challenge and be back in the onion sea. I didn't do anything. Look, I'm literally not touching the buttons. Oh <laughs> I'm going to murder you. Keep reading. So let us begin our journey. Happy camper. Anthony, I, I mean, you. <laughs> I did nothing. I did nothing. It Fine. timed out. Fine. Oh, God. Oh, <laughs> Is it problematic that we're both in wheelchairs? Uh, I don't think so. <laughs> okay, good. If anything, it would be, uh, um... He's just so cute. <laughs> They're not letting S'mores. anything hold them back. That's true. Combine cooked marshmallow, chopped fillings. Okay, so cooked marshmallow, chopped fillings, and crackers. Ch add chopped wood to the fire to keep the heat going. I've never done this level before, so we are probably going to bork it. Probably. Uh, I have chocolate. Okay, I need a marshmallow, I think. And wood. What'd you call me? No, th this is wood. You have to add it to the fire. Uh. Ow. I don't 
don't no, know. No, you have to chop it. It's a chopped wood. Oh, I have to chop wood? Okay. Yeah. Um, so for this... Oh, I have the marshmallows. Why didn't you say something? Because I didn't know you had the marshmallows. For this uh, episode of um, London Sucks at Games, movie night... How do night, I get the marshmallow on here? Do you have to do chop have to, it? I have to chop the marshmallow. Ugh. How dare you. Um, I think that Lemon is going to uh, describe the plot of uh, one of her favorite movies in the world, Die Hard. Why would you call that... Oh, I have the crackers. Why would you call you that one of my favorite movies in the world? Because you like that movie? No, I don't. You don't like that movie? I do not like Die Hard. Really? It's fine, but it is, like, very from the 80s. It's... I don't know. It, there's not a lot in it for me to like. I... It's an action movie, and it has Bruce Willis in it. Bruce Willis being in it is, like, the end of where my like for the movie goes. Okay, I need crackers on, like, everything. What do you call me? I need crackers. <laughs> I need graham crackers. Uh, oh, we don't have to wash plates. Great. No, we do have to wash plates. Oh, I need wood, please. Like, a lot of it. Okay. Can I just throw it? Ugh. I'll get better at throwing it. Yeah, if you could not throw things directly into my person, that would be appreciated. Can you put chocolate on the plate, please, this one? Uh... And wash the scrippy dish. Oh, I have the sinks. You have the sinks. Oh, no! Um, I'm taking the sinks. Go ahead. I just, I need a bunch without chocolate. Why? Oh! What's... I didn't realize there were different orders. I'm sorry. We might need to restart this. Um, um Die Hard is not one of my favorite movies. However... I work in the theater industry, and we do a Die Hard play literally every year. Um, I don't know. This is a good topic. Like, do we want to bring up my company? Do I call it by name? Yeah, I think yes, that's honestly. Up to you. Like, do you think there would be? I need marshmallows to chop, to chippy chop. Okay, we're going to have to redo this level, and I'm just settled into that. Do you have to roast those? Yes. Okay. Can you chop this, please? Sorry, I didn't see it. I think I need more wood. Probably. It's going very slowly now. with you also i can never remember how this movie starts here's what i know right it's, so bruce I, willis i yes. can give you a, a hint it starts on a plane snakes on a plane no no bruce willis on a plane uh i need plates there are plates no these are dirty oh I sorry need i forgot plates. i have the same uh it starts on a plane don't remember that at all. Here's what I think happens. Bruce Willis is on a plane, and then he talks to this guy who tells him to squish his toes into the carpet. Um, and then he arrives at Nakatomi Plaza, which is where his ex-wife works. He's there to see his ex-wife and his ex-family for the holidays. His ex-family? They're yes. not his family anymore? <laughs> his children. And, um... And um, he gets there right when she, his ex-wife, is, like, breaking a deal, right? Because it's the 80s, and it's still kind of sexist. And he's like, you can't be good at business, ex-wife. And she's like, yes, I can. I work here at this company where they're all Japanese and they don't believe in women. So I said that I was single, and now I'm doing great because a married woman needs to go home or something. A married they, woman needs to go home? And they gave, <laughs> and they gave her a watch. To tell her how valuable she is to the company? Okay. Question mark? Uh, okay, this is... Um... No, that's like a thing that people do. 
Maybe it was. Where's my watch? Fair. Where's the wood? Right here. Oh, there it is. Okay. Um. Also, who puts bananas on the person? I have actually heard of that. Really? You know what I think would be fucking awesome? They do like these s'mores bars at parties where you do like all kinds of different toppings like Reese's cups and stuff. Sure. And you have terracotta pots with foil in them. And then you put the like briquettes inside the the terracotta. Um This one, this one. And then it can go out. Oops. Oops. Oh god. What, what are you doing? What are you doing? I'm chopping bananas. B A N A N A S. Okay, so they give give her a watch to show their appreciation for her as an employee. I'll take this out. Um. Um. Don't need any more of that. Chop it. Go in. Wood. This is unsanitary. Is it? Yeah, I'm chopping wood on the cutting boards that is chopping our food. I mean, I, I guess. I guess if you're camping, though, does hygiene really matter? That is a question that I do not think we are prepared to answer here. Where are the plates? Okay, so he shows up in Nakatomi Plaza because he's meeting his ex-wife so that he can have Christmas with his family. It's a Christmas party that he shows up to so he can have Christmas with his family. I'm telling you this in such a tone because it's a common discussion, I mean argument, as to whether or not Die Hard is a Christmas film. What is your take on this? I think it is absolutely a Christmas film because it is, uh, it's not just that it happens during the celebration of Christmas and Christmas is the entire impetus for the, uh, the film it also plays a big point part of the film uh this needs marshmallows and man these things take a long time to cook it's because you're not putting wood on the fire no that one has wood on it okay the top one yeah because i just did that Oh, they're just already done. Okay. All right, so it's a Christmas movie. We established that very early on. He's there to see his family and be all family friendly and happy, right? When he gets there, when he gets there, Severus Snape and his goons attack. <laughs> Severus Snape. <laughs> attack the Nakatomi Plaza, the Nakatomi Plaza. Um. And they bust in and they're like, hey bros, we're here to steal your money, right? And at that point, Bruce Willis had gone to the bathroom, I believe, to squish his toes in the carpet. In the carpet in the bathroom? Yeah, like the guy on the plane told him to do. Did we pass? No, oh. we got one star. Oh. We have to replay because we can't go on unless we get two stars. Um explaining for those playing along at home yes of course okay uh he goes to the bathroom to squish his toes on the carpet and and while he's there severus snape and his goons uh one of them being fabio attacks nakatomi plaza because you're not really sure yet i'm pretty sure like all of them are fabio because they all have like ridiculously luxurious blonde hair. <laughs> There's one specifically, though, who looks <laughs> so much like Fabio, it's not even funny. Uh, can you get that? Uh, this needs B-A-N-A-N-A-S. Uh, then we have a 
chocolate, a chocolate, a banana, and a plane. Did you say a plane? Yeah. Oh, a plane, yeah. Why, why would you ever have plain snores? I thought you meant like snakes on a. <laughs> I was like, what are you talking about? Um. So, Fabio shows up. Uh, Fabio shows up and he wants money from Nakatomi Tower. So they start shooting off their guns in the like main hallway where everyone has gathered for Christmas bonus. And they're starting to give an award to uh, John, that would be Bruce Willis's wife, when they're like, pew pew pew, we're yeah, here I to- I have the chocolate. Too late. <laughs> We're here to take all your money. I honestly am not going to remember a lot of this movie. I'm telling you right now, I'm having a very hard time thinking of it. That's okay. You're confusing me. What are you doing? We need plates. We need plates. While I'm doing this, can you stock up the fires, please? Yes. Um. They bust in and they're like, hey, Nakatomi Tower, John and his wife, we're here for your money. And then um, John is in the bathroom, so he like hides, right? Because nobody saw him. What they don't know is that John is a cop of some sort. I don't remember what kind. Possibly a detective, maybe a secret agent of some kind, unknown. Yes, um, secret Also, agent. there's a really cool taxi driver that I vaguely recall. I think his name is Argyle, like the sweater. You know what I'm talking about? Yes, uh, and he's in the basement listening to music. Yeah, he's in the basement the entire time listening to music and not noticing the explosions and shit, and he's like the best part of the movie. He is the best part of the movie, that's true. Okay. Have some great characters. Thank you. Ugh, sorry. Um, that's a plain uh, of uh, Aples and Bananas. Aples and Bananas. So Argyle's in the basement listening to music, bombs start going off, people are shooting things up, everyone's like, we're from the 80s! And they run and they hide, right? Is that what they yell? Yes, we're from the 80s! We don't <laughs> believe in women's rights! And, <laughs> and John's in the bathroom like, this is weird. So he I'm pretty hears, sure he doesn't believe in women's rights either. He hears all of that. Something happens with the walkie-talkies where he like, he does absolutely not believe in women's rights, and that's like the sub, like, plot of the movie is that he's really shitty to his wife, and that's why they got a divorce in the first place. Or they're like, they're trying out this separation, because she wants to be a businesswoman and be independent and like live her own life, and he's not about it. That is true. He is not about it. Uh, here, have a plate. You come over here with that plate. I'm busy. Move. move. <laughs> um. We did not make it again. Listen, one of us needs to be in charge of plates. Is it me or you? I can be in charge of plates now that I know where they show up. Okay. I can be in charge of plates and firewood. I mean, wedge. <laughs> <laughs> what they do is uh, they come in and they're like, hey, we want your money. And then they kill Bruce Willis's wife's boss, right? And that immediately makes Bruce Willis's wife the boss. She's in charge. Um, that's how corporate structures work. Yes. Also, Bruce Willis's wife has like an assistant or something. And... Oh, I thought I heard one of his boss. Oh, no, what's that one? Damn it. Chocolate. Um. This has no little fire. I'm getting it. I got it. Uh, chocolate banana banana. Let me get two banana, please. Yes. Uh, she is a assistant. She is an assistant who is pregnant. This will come into play at some point, I do believe. There's a plain one that needs to go out. Isn't oh, she, like, drunk all the time, too? No, that's just from my show. 
No, there is like she, someone she who is drunk. She has a sip of champagne, and she's like, "It's good for the baby because it's the '80s," <laughs> and it's you know not because of fetal <laughs> alcohol syndrome. I'm gonna do these dishes. Can you stuck to fires? Yeah, I'm getting there. I'm done with you. I really don't like that you have to cut the firewood on the cutting boards. Yeah, it's gross. It's kind of gross. Now you have bugs. Do you want ants? Because this is how you get ants. This is how you get ants. Oops. Uh, <clears throat> Oops. So she's pregnant and it comes into play later, but they don't care about it now. Yeah, something about a couch. I don't remember. Why? Gustav brings it to her. Why are they <clears throat> um, at Nakatomi Plaza in the They're at Nakatomi Plaza, you believe, to rob the place blind, right? Yes. Uh, you think that because they come in and there's like a really long scene where he talks about models and it's really weird. Him being uh, uh, Severus Snape. <clears throat> he talks about models and how he's really into models and he's all meticulous and you're like, oh, this guy's weird and evil, obviously. Models like model buildings, right? Like model buildings, yeah. Not like models like like supermodels. No, model buildings. Oh, gotcha. Um, and he he is in John's wife's office when he's doing that, which is like surrounded by photos. But she's conveniently placed the one photo of John face down, right? So he can't see that John is her wife because she's a hostage and John is like attacking all of them and somehow got one of their walkie talkies. And he's also talking to like the cop you outside. You forgot the chair in the elevator. I don't remember that. They kill someone and then there's a chair in an elevator. <laughs> Can you take that out? Yes. <clears throat> I think we did better last time. Oh, the plates. Don't you dare! Haha! <laughs> uh, can you take that out? It doesn't need to play. Oh, no. Oh, just barely. Did we do it? We did it! Yay! Alright, Argyle's bopping in the basement to whatever. Um, John is just all over the building. We know that they are German, except for Severus Snape, who like kind of sounds German, but also like not. But I think that's maybe the actor's fault and not the writing. Um, John has somehow gotten a hold of the walkie-talkies of the people who are robbing the building, right? So he's like holding them all hostage. Uh, his wife, whose name I think is Gina? Jenny? Gina? Gianna? I don't remember. Curly-haired wife. She has, like... See, that feels like a step backwards for women for me. <laughs> to just say his wife, you know? Oh, uh, this is a backpack one. Backpack, backpack. Okay, I've got dough and you've got cheese. I have cheese. Where's the chippy choppies? Uh, on the left and right. That makes sense. I do not like the backpack ones. I do not like them, Sam. I am. I do not like green eggs in pasta. Uh, tomat. And then this can go in the oven. I'm having a tomato. I need the cheese out of your bag. Nope, that was a plate. Stop it. There we go. That needs are those olives? Yeah, those are olives. Why would you need to chop one olive into a bunch of small olives? That's how olives work, my friend. I don't think that's how olives work. Here, get cheese. Uh, I need, I need cheese. Is there a dough already? Yeah. Down here. Uh okay, so. So the Germans are like crawling the building, trying to, we're not really sure. They're setting up some kind of heist, right? There is a giant safe in the building. There. There's a giant safe in the building. There's a giant safe in the building and they have like a technician specialist that can somehow crack that safe or something. Um, Oh, you got the olives. Okay. 
Jeez. Right here behind you. I've got the tomato. Uh, this also is on this. There's a technician or explosive specialist or something, a computer guy. I don't know. He is the one who, like, does all the technical speak and is also on the walkie-talkies. At some point, John, who is Bruce Willis, steals a walkie-talkie from them and, like, gets on the same, uh, channel. line as them. Channel as them, yeah. Um. She's behind you. I'm getting a tomato. He calls the police, right? And he's like, hey, this is happening. Uh, somebody come and save us. But we have no plates. Oh, God, they're all dirty. Hold on. I got them. Oh, never mind. I have cheese instead. <laughs> Where's the sink? Here. Can you come get one of these, though? There's a done pizza up top. Yeah. Um. This one going on. Um. Words. Things. Stuff. Shenanigans ensue. Take, take the dough out of my bag. and I really don't know how they get stopped, right? But the police, the guy is like on his way home to his pregnant wife and he gets the call. He's the uncle from, um, Family Matters. Uh, Family Matters? Yeah, I was going to say Fresh Prince. Is that not right? No, that is not right. Really? Yes. Really? That is a different uncle. I thought it wasn't the one from Family Matters. No, he's the dad from Family Matters. Really? A hundred percent. Shit. <laughs> I'm racist. That hurts. <laughs> um, anyways, he's that guy. Where's the, do you have dough out? No. Take this dough. I'll tell you where the dough is. It's right here. I will wash the plate. Thank you. There's cheese and olive on that thing. You're an olive. Um, you can get a tomato and do it. Ah! Um, he's like on his way home to his pregnant wife or something like that, right? And on his way, he gets this call down to Nakatomi Plaza, but they think it might be a prank. So he's like, <sighs> so he's like, I will go check it out since I'm on my way home anyways, right? So he drives over there and then someone's like, don't worry about it, boss. It's definitely, let me just deliver this. It's definitely a prank. So he doesn't call backup or something. I don't know. He ends up outside the building and he like thinks it isn't such a big deal. We did. Uh, he thinks it isn't such a big deal. <clears throat> so he, I feel like he's just hanging outside Nakatomi Plaza, like just hanging out for a while. He, he does a drive-by and then he's like, I'm going to leave. And then Bruce Willis drops a corpse on his car. Oh, thank you. I totally forgot about that. He does. There's a special level over there. Want to try it? Yeah. He, he absolutely throws the corpse of Fabio's brother through the window, right? Yeah. And he's like, yeah. not my brother! I'll defend you! And he like shoots at the ceiling? Or is that for my show? <laughs> no, he does that. <laughs> he does do that. <laughs> Wait, is his brother the one that falls out the window? Or is his brother the one who comes down in the elevator chair with the sign that says, ho, 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 motherfucker? <laughs> now I have a gun. No, yeah, now I have a gun. Uh, uh, purple. The chippy choppies are in the top left. Oh, lock. no. The mixers are in the bottom. Oh, no. I don't like this. Okay. Here are a bunch of plates yellow. and steamers. Oh, what have I done? And then all of the ingredients are down here. Okay, okay, okay. We need flour. Oh, can. can we throw it through the portal? Yes. That's nice. Oh, oh no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh no, we're uh, restarting this level. Restart it right now. Restart it. Okay. Restart. I picked up a plate and it was the end of days. <laughs> um, <clears throat> Alright, flower needs to go uh, through the green door, which is over here. Uh, Alright. Meat needs to be steamed. That's gonna be a fun sound effect. Uh, 
Oh no, meat has to be chopped and then steamed. So, Bruce Willis throws a body out the window so that the copper knows... I am so upset. This is the worst level I've ever seen. <laughs> you took the ball. Um, I did. I had to put it in the steamer. Okay, I'm gonna go this way. This was wrong. Where are the chippy choppies? In the top left. They're oh in my red God. and yellow. I don't like it. And we got one. I don't like anything. Um, so that all the ingredients, I think, have to be chopped and then uh, put in the bowls. You're correct. Oh, mother. And then the bowl oh, well, that's has good. to go into the... I could have gone straight system. there, but I'm dumb and didn't. Uh, that's, Is this good? That's done. The shrimp doesn't have to be mixed? No, it does, but it's already been mixed. Ah, uh, interesting. Where is the... Oh, the plates are private and chicken uh, Um... Uh, yeah, so Uncle Carl gets to... So that's nice. <laughs> uh. Much like in Die Hard, where a man has just fallen through the glass. Um, nice segue. <laughs> <laughs> they sing a merry carol about um, how Christmas has come. And Do they? then, <laughs> oh, absolutely not. Oh, fudge. I don't know what I'm doing. Where am I? What has led me to these choices? Uh, I'm gonna deal with the plates. <laughs> the most roundabout way possible, apparently. Purple. Yellow. Yellow! Why did you put the steamer over here? Why do I do anything? Flower. You're a flower. Aww. Okay. <laughs> um, Die Hard. Die Hard. It's a music Christmas musical. <laughs> the ghost of Christmas past comes. Uh, that means something in it. Oh! It's just. <laughs> I absolutely hate this level. This is my least favorite level I think we've ever done. Well, we almost got done with it, so. Good. I don't wanna do it again. We gotta do it again! <laughs> do it again. We, we gotta do two they stars! I don't wanna! Oh my god. I can't even remember Die Hard now! <laughs> Which I very clearly remembered previous to this interaction. You're in my way. I need a carrot. I don't care. I'm stuck in a door. <laughs> Listen, I'm getting beef now, okay? Okay, I'm getting flour. Great. I'm gonna 
take this. Oh, oh God. Chop the beef. Listen. <laughs> I don't know. It's a Christmas miracle. Okay, so, uh, where were we? I'm getting shrimp. I'm just gonna continue to get flour. Uh, so he drops the the guy off the tower. He drops the guy off the tower, and the cop's like, "Oh shit! Stuff is going down." Just like in this kitchen. Just like in this kitchen, where people are also dying of food poisoning. Oh crap! Oh crap! Oh crap! I'm, I'm coming! I'm coming with flour. Go get that! Go get that! Go get that! Calculated risk. Um, and then doesn't he, like, he, he walks through the glass at some point. Who, John? Yeah. He does. He I remember have... because he has really bloody feet at some point, but I have no idea when that happens. I think it actually might happen very early on, right? Because he's in the bathroom, and he's doing the foot carpet thing, where he's, like, squishing his toes into the carpet. Uh-huh. And, um, and the, the glass breaks in there, I think. Oh, God. Uh, how do I get there? How do I get there? Purple, purple, purple. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Ah, oh, oh. fucker! Grabbing this. Fuck this level! It's really not great. Oh, I don't even know what I'm doing! Green! No! Fuck! Oh, yellow, you gotta get the yellow. <laughs> yellow! Trash can! Eat my steamy burnt buns! <laughs> I'm fine. Are you? Are you? Yes, this is fine. I'll get somewhere I need to be eventually. Yellow. Oh, mama. If we do bad, we have to do it over. I hear you talking, but I'm not listening. <laughs> Who cares? He cut his feet up and then they all shoot up the building. Papers fly everywhere. He saved the day. Good job, John. That's the movie. That's the movie? At some point he realizes they're not there for the money. He's actually there to steal stocks or something. Bear bonds. Bear bonds. In like a particular 80s reference. Because nobody knows what bear bonds are anymore. Are they valuable? They're like, kind of like stocks. In... Can you go get that? I'm getting it. Thank you. And I'll get the other one. Ugh. Carrot. Who wants a carrot? Oh, I gotta fucking cut it. No! Push me. I sense you are frustrated with something. Yeah. <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> I'm dancing. We all need a little bit of dance in our life. It seemed relevant. I don't have any plates. There are some clean ones at the same time. How do I get there? I wish I could tell you. This is done in this cold. Well, I was coming with a plan. Did we do it? No, no, we did not. Oh, don't look like that. I quit. <laughs> um. <laughs> uh, John runs across Severus Snape on the roof, and he's like, "Hey, buddy, old pal," and he's like, "Don't hurt me. I'm a harmless hostage." And John's like, "You seem trustworthy," and then. Something happens, and Severus Snape is like, just kidding, I'm the bad guy. And he tries to shoot John. I literally don't 
don't fucking know what I'm doing right now or where I'm going. Go back in just, here, go through the yellow door, get the fucking flower. Just continue to get flower. I hate this level <laughs> more than anything I've oh <laughs> I've ever hated it. Oh, that's not true. You're right. I hated my ex. I got that bowl. Who are you talking to? Okay, fine. Jesus. Nope, nope. You've made the wrong decision. Oh, I could just go through the yellow door like a smart human being. And then through the red door. Nope, back, back. Chop it up, Jen. I mean lemon. <laughs> Put it in the pot. Green. Purple. Flower. I got the thing. Yellow. Red. Scrimp! Um, yep, yep, yep. Nope, wrong. Uh, so he comes across, um... This is patterns, Anthony. I know. Oh my. He comes across, uh, what's-his-face in the... And he's like, you seem trustworthy. He's like, you seem trustworthy. And then he's like, just kidding, I'm here to shoot you in the back. And then he tries to shoot John in the back. But John's wife shows up because she was already up there on the roof being hostage. I think I'm mixing two scenes together, though. Very possible. Um, <laughs> and she's like... That's okay. And John's like, let's do the one thing that we did that one time in Texas. Get now! And she ducks, so he shoots Severus Snape instead, who then flies off the rooftop. Wait. Something happens at some point where they're like... Oh god, like, oh god, oh god. Uh, that means... They're on the rooftop, and... Oh! Oh, oh, right, okay. So you find out that they're not actually there for money. They're there to get, like, bearer bonds, which I think are in the safe? They are in the safe, and they're the untraceable bonds. for some reason. Yeah, the untraceable... I think it's because it's a Japanese company. Doesn't it have something to do with that? Probably? Hmm. I don't know. Hmm. I don't know how bearer bonds work. Um, something happens where they're, like, on the roof, right, and then they, uh, it, the Germans are talking to the police, and the police, well, I think, like, the FBI gets there or something, and they're like, hey, what do you want, right? And he says, I want you to release all of these other terrorists from prison, because he's trying to convince them that they're terrorists and not robbers, because that's a worse crime, so they wouldn't be focused on, like, what they're really doing or something, because they're smart. Yes. Um, and then he, uh, he does something no, 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 no. else. Oh, God. Okay. He does something else. <laughs> uh, so then he takes all the hostages, right? He, what? What's happening? <laughs> he rounds all of them up and he takes them all up to the rooftop because. Just get that one out. Oops. Well, I could have, but I'm stupid. <laughs> it's okay. We got two stars. Oh, hell yeah! I'm never doing that level again as long as I live. Oh. I would rather chop off my pinky toes. Oh yeah, let's do the special level. That's a great idea. First of all, I said, do you want to do the Kevin level? Did I not? You did. Yes, thank you. You absolutely <laughs> did say that, those words. That was disgusting. I did not like any part of it. Let's go back to s'mores. <laughs> With grace? These aren't s'mores. These are pancakes. Pancakes. Have a flower. I love flower. Have another 
four. I love flour. Have an ug. Wow. Have mm -hmm. an ug. Uh, have some berries. Berries. Have some more berries. Got a chocolate. Some chocolate. Berries. Some chocolate. Are you done? May I have a bowl, please? No. Egg. Blair. Have that. Sangyo. Have a bowl. Have that. Sangyo. Have a bowl. Oh no! Oh no. Now you have the things. Eggs. Thank you. Flears. Thank you. This one can be plated. This one can be plated. Take them out, friend. I'm putting them out. We need one more chocolate. It's at the top. I don't think I can reach it. You can. <gasps> well, I can't now. Have some chocolate. These need chocolate in them? Yeah. Um, no berries. No berries. Put this in the oven. And the oven. I'll put it in a skillet. Or the <clears> skillet. <throat> oh, I, I dropped it. I don't know what to do anymore. Now that's dirt pancakes. Dirt cake. This goes in the blender, which is on your side, but I'll put it in this bowl. There's a blender? Yeah, he's mixer, whatever. Here are plates. Don't be finicky. Don't be finicky. A bowl? Oh, I see it. <gasps> what have I done? You have the survey thingy. Okay. I do. Here's a bowl. Here's a bowl that needs to be cooked. No, the bowl did not get in the plate. Ooh. That was an egg. Um. So our hero, John. I don't even know what he's doing anymore. He's on the <laughs> roof. There's people up there. Uh, he's on the roof. He kills a lot of terrorists. The end. Yeah, he shoots a lot of terrorists. That does happen. Also, they're not terrorists. They are just robbers. They're just and... pretending to be terrorists because that's a better crime. Hello, I need berries, please. Airplane. Oh, hey, in case you were curious, you can drown. Oh, well, I need plates. Well, you get berries. I need plates, though. You don't get them. You can have this one. Here's a berry. You can start that cooking. There are more plates. Don't tell me what to do. Uh, isn't there something like a big plot point with a guy named Ellis? Ellis, yes. Oh, Ellis is in love with John's wife, and he really wants to doink her. Also, he's a cokehead. That's that's his whole thing. He's like a power seller. I think it's like another take on like the sexism of the 80s and how he's supposedly like so much better at her job than she is, but he's not really. He just uh, is a man. <laughs> <laughs> he's also like definitely the guy I need from, berries! Uh, American Psycho, right? I do not recall. Now you need berries. I have the berries. Uh, this needs to be cooked. There is a, a dumb thing there. Here you go. It can go out. Thank you. Here you go. How do you keep getting the bowls out? You give me the bowls I know. to pour the pancakes <laughs> in. I will kill I you. I need this. We did really good on that. We did do really good. Do you know why? Do you? <laughs> <laughs> Do no, you know? I, I do not know. It's because I love pancakes. I think I've told oh. <laughs> I think I've told you this before, but I really want a hoodie that just says pancakes. Okay. I want it to be like that. I think it's like Yale Maroon. Like maroon? Yale Moon. Yale Moon. <laughs> Yale Maroon color. Sort of like our chair, but more maroon. Okay. That says pancakes across the chest. And that's it. Oh, bravo! Such levels of backcountry collaboration. My chefs, you truly are naturals with nature. And the backpacks, what a splendid idea! Glad you packed better than someone else I could mention. I love it when we travel with just a backpack full of cheese. <laughs> 
Why anyone would bring a hair dryer out here is beyond me. That doesn't, he doesn't have hair. It's for Kevin. Dot, dot, dot. <laughs> But my friends, see, already I've been awarded the s'more, the merrier cookie patch for cooperation. We're on our way. However, this is only the beginning. The trek is long and packed with palatable peril. Say palatable peril five times fast. Palatable peril. That was much easier. Go now. Take to the treetops. And bring back some breakfast. I don't like where this is going. <laughs> For rescuing's one reputation really does work up an appetite. You can't see me, but I'm dancing. <laughs> <laughs> can we change chefs? Yeah, we can change chefs. I would like to be a different chef now, please. Okay. The dismay yes. of... That one level has made me want to switch personalities. That's fair. <sighs> um, I'm going to be a shark now. I'm going to be werewolf chat. Which one should I be? Not not Which one? Teal or blue? Ooh, it looks like a dolphin. Screw that. <clears throat> oh. So they wrestle up all the hostages, right? They're like, we're yeah. getting to the end of this story. <laughs> Clearly, <laughs> the time has come to close it down. And they wrestle everybody up. They lasso them up into a group, and they head on up to the rooftop. After they get the vault open. After they get the vault open. Oh, they black out the building, right? John and the cop who are downstairs, who are communicating on the walkie-talkies that all the Germans can hear, so they have to talk in code, have developed a friendship and brotherhood. Um, they... Black out the whole building, everything's thrown into chaos, which lets them get into the safe because the FBI did something that like fell into their hands. I don't remember. Um, egg? Egg? How do I get up there? Oh, there's stairs. Shark don't know stairs. Um, the FBI does something which like blacks out the building and then what is what even is this? What is this? Be That's beans? A can of beans. I have beans. I, I'm getting back home. I don't need beans. We probably need one more egg, I guess. We probably need a plate right now. Uh we do need a plate. I got it, I got it. Put it down. Yeah. Don't pick up the pans. I gotta pick up the pans and put the plates in. Pick them. up the plate and take the plate to the pan. Why how many you, times? Why would you do that? Because that's how you do it. That is how to do. Um, do I chop up the weenies? Yes. To get one sausage, you must chop up many sausages. This feels right for me to be doing as the, the shark. I would love to be a shark butcher. Don't pick up the plate. That was an accident. I was trying to pick up the plate. Don't start with me, young man. Uh, uh, beans. Egg. Egg. Do I have to open the beans? Nope. Somehow? You know how you cook beans? Yeah, you open the can. You just put the whole jar in the pan. <laughs> Is your mic on? I don't know. Yes, right? Oh, yeah. You should turn that off. Oh. Oops. There's a plate right next to you. You have failed. <laughs> well, now is our sound screwed up for this whole thing? I don't know. Hmm. I mean, I guess you could always mute it and then, yeah, but then we'll just look at use. The music. No. Oh. I just tried to deliver a dirty plate. There's a plate just to the right of it. Grab it. You did it. Thank you. Bends. Hmm? I have bends. What are you saying? Bends. What are you saying? <laughs> oh, yes. Bends. Uh, that was wrong also. This is totally trash. Good job. It's okay. I tried to deliver a dirty plate, so <laughs> I feel like of the two of us, you are more successful. Egg. Behind in orders. Here you go. Have an egg. 
This is just beans. Juenes. Beans and juenes. Oh, because it's pork and or beans. Juenes. It's juenes. Juenes. Get the huevos! I'll get them. Huevos. I got Where's huevos. this whatever it is thing? Bacon? El hunk of meat. It's pork. I don't think it's bacon. Oh, it is bacon. Definitely Look at it. bacon. Listen! Jeez! Sassy! Whoa! Whoa! I'm coming here with beans. I put the beans in there. <laughs> See, it's fun to say. It sounds wrong. Uh, that needs bacon. It's French bacon. Bacon. The egg does? Yeah. We just lost like two orders in a row. Yeah. I blame you. <laughs> I don't, yeah. You shouldn't. It's 100% my fault because I was just running in circles with an egg for a while. <laughs> Benz, please. We need some Benz. I've got Benz. Um, egg. Egg. Do you think we did it? <laughs> <laughs> we did it. I don't know if the sound is going to be screwed up for this or not. We'll figure it out. I hope not. Continue. So anyways, Bruce Willis was doing some stuff with Severus Snape. <clears throat> um, so, Severus Snape came to Bruce Willis and was like, I see dead people. And he was wearing a red sweater. I don't... Okay. I have bacon and you have sausage and I have one of each. <laughs> um, what are you talking about? So, are we done with Die Hard? No! Does it sound like there was an ending of any kind? No, not at all. Oh, I didn't mess it up. Come here. Get, get weenies. Get, get bacon. Come down here. Come here. Put a weenie down and get one more weenie and put it down. Now you cut. Did you call me? Okay. This one needs all four. Yes. Uh, so we need one with one just with... weenies, right? Well, I think we weenies and bacon, but not beans. Uh, well, I fucked that up. So that one is just weenies and beans. So will you serve that all four? Try. I got it. I got it. I got it. Okay. Serve the plate right there. Down. Right there. Yep. Where are plates? Uh, They're dirty, I assume. They are dirty. Okay. This I has eggs them. and bean in it. What can I put in it? Uh, bacon and sausage. Okay. No, you already have a bacon and sausage. Nothing in there needs eggs and bean. Oh, so that's fucked. Yes. Okay. Taking these weenies, and I'm gonna make a beans and weenie one. Okay. Beans. I'm gonna mean to make 
make a bacon and egg. Okay, I'll do egg. Egg. And then five beans and a weenie, and then we need a bacon, a sausage, and an egg. And now we're out of meats. So they all have a goddamn party on the rooftop, right? He takes all the hostages and everybody up. The Germans are up there. The hostages are up there. The pregnant lady's up there. She got a couch brought down to her at some point so she wouldn't <laughs> pee on the floor. Now they're all on the roof. And they all go to the roof because Severus Snape told the FBI that he needed... Um, well, can we just start with me? Yes. That he needed a helicopter to get away so that he could... Get away. Uh, get away, yes. And that he wanted all these terrorists released. But that was a falsehood. He did not... Oh, sorry. Damn. I uh, apologize. He did not care about the terrorists. He just wanted a getaway plan. Um, bacon. Bacon. Uh, and then this one, that's done. Egg. Bacon. Beans. Wait. That needs beans. Boom. Now we're on the third one. So it needs eggs, beans. I got you. Uh, you need to get it needs sausage. Can this one go out? This yeah. all four? Yes. Why can't I put this down? Is it not cooked? What's the problem? What is happening? What do you mean? Is this wrong? Look, it won't let me put it down uh, on the plate. Bacon. Is it a dirty plate? Bacon, beans, egg. Shouldn't be. Here. Let me try. The game's glitched. Oh, yeah. It definitely is. We should restart. Bollocks! They're all having a party on the rooftop, and Bruce Willis is like, Hey, what up, Severus Snape? I've been following you the whole movie. His name is Hans, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> Um, he's like, I've been following you the whole movie, and I know that you are a robber, and you suck, and I'm gonna save my wife. My wife? How did I get a bacon? Uh, you stole the one that I had gotten out of my <laughs> bag. You need to take another two. Yeah. Will you start on the other things? Yeah. Okay, I'll come up with these. Okay. That needs a weenie as well. I'm gonna get the bacon and for the next one. Another bacon. You have then, the egg. Uh, and then a weenie. The third one egg is and weenie egg beans. You have the weenie? Mm-hmm. Uh, they're partying on the roof. Um, he's like, hey, what up, Bruce Willis? Uh, I know that you are actually the wife of this lady here Sally. who is my hostage. Sally? Gennaro. Sally Gennaro! Sally Gennaro. You're right! He's like, I know that you're her wife, so if I, if I kill her, it will uh, upset you greatly. So he takes her specifically as a hostage, and they all go up to the roof where the helicopters are on their way, and ooh, that was wrong. So now I have to put an egg in this. No, 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 it was fine. Was it? Eggs and, or beans and weenies? Yeah. Egg and bean? Um, no, it was supposed to be just beans and weenies. Yeah, the egg in there is wrong. Yes, that's what I did. So now it needs something else to fix it. 
That one is also probably wrong. No, that one needs all four. So take it off the thing. Ugh. But now there's two all fours, is what I'm saying. But that's yeah, okay, because there's two all fours on the thing. There are two all fours on the thing. So let's, can we get bacon for me? Let's do our meat dance. <laughs> uh, I have to go get that. Great. You can fix both of those. Or I can just jump off the ledge. You could also do that, yes. Okay, so Sally Gennaro. Sally Gennaro is up there with the Germans because he knows that she is a valuable hostage, right? So then he uh, he's like threatening John. They're playing a little game. He calls him Gene Kelly or something like that. Uh, yeah, because it's uh, he, he's Gene Kelly. No, he's Roy. He's Roy something. Roy Rogers. It, it's a cowboy reference. Is that done? This is done, right? Yes. It's just egg and bacon. I'm, I'm getting the... Take it. I got it. Take it. I'm getting plates. Is there an egg and bean? Uh, no. This there is an egg, a sausage, and bean. Okay, this one. We're very behind on the sausage because I was doing... I don't even know what stuff. Um, this... Oh my god. Put that in this one. Plate. Plate. Never. You took a fire extinguisher. You're trying to chop the fire extinguisher. <laughs> no, I'm not. That's not what's going on there. It's not gonna go. Oh, man. It might... Never give up! What's your problem? I was waiting for the team to come. We got 4 I just would like everyone to know it's also 2 o'clock in the morning. So now I'm very tired. It is 1.30 in the morning. It's 2 o'clock in the morning. It's 2 o'clock in the morning. We did also get Dutch Bros, so I should be jazzed. Anyways, the ghost of Christmas passed and a bunch of other ghosts that only um, Severus Snape can see in his red sweater show up on the roof with him and all the hostages. And then Bruce Willis shoots up the whole town and a safe explodes and papers fly everywhere as the helicopter lands and they save the day. The end. The end? Yes. I mean, that's kind of what happens. You forgot the most famous line in the entire thing. yippee ki motherfucker. Yeah. I said that. Oh, no, I said no, I have a gun, motherfucker. Yeah. Whatever. Yeah, that's what Whatever. She said. <laughs> Whatever. This one needs one of everything. If everybody knows it, I don't have to say it. I don't think that's how this game works. Yes, it is. Well, excuse me, sir. I'm just trying to get bacon off of you. Pardon me. Most of my time is just spent chasing you. Well, if you told me what you were doing, I would stop for you. I don't Instead, you just true. trace me around like a crazy person. So there's already two bacons down there. Um, Come here, I need a weenie. Just get a couple bacons too. Did you do the meat dance? Let's do this meat dance. Go ahead. Okay, I'll go do something else. That one just needs to cook. It doesn't need anything else. You don't need anything else. I do. do. Go down. Oh, okay. I give up. You give up? <laughs> I'm chasing you. Ah! Oh, but I have, I have a plate. There's a plate. That means an egg. Egg. Can you wash plates? I am doing it. Thank you. I'm just going to run directly into you. That's fine. I have to use. And that was the ballad of Sally Gennaro. Do you 
Wait. Uh, they're to buy the same. Okay, but what do you got? Deliver that and then we can do the meat dance. Mm. Sir! How I roll in my kitchen. Just throw things on the ground. Sausage. Can you go make a bacon egg sausage? I'm following you with the beanies now. Thank you. Can you take that off of like wash plates? Oh. Oh. How'd that go? Oh. So, what is your um, categor categorization of wigs in Die Hard? I don't think anybody's wearing a wig. Maybe Fabio? Alan Rickman? So, 10 out of 10. Because <laughs> I couldn't tell. Maybe Sally, but I don't think so. I think they really gave her a firm. Okay. Bacon. Sausage. No. Uh, you have a plate. Yes. Can you pick up the bacon I just put on the ground and put it in a pan? Or I just drop a plate on it. Almost the same. Just watch that one. Just baby guard it. Baby guard it? Yeah. From from you? No. From burning. Okay. Take a bacon. We have a bacon and an egg further down. No, we probably can't make it. I'll baby guard this. Ooh, I really hope we get the last one. <sighs> 10 out of 10 on the wigs, because nobody that I know of was wearing a fake wig, including Fabio and Alan Rickman. That's good. I give this movie a 6 out of 10 explosions and one handgun. Just one handgun? Just one. Wow, well, okay then. <laughs> you heard it here first, folks. <laughs> Six out of ten explosions plus one handgun for extra credit. <laughs> yeah, for your BKA motherfucker. Great. Well, thank you for enjoying this journey with us. Yes, thank you. <laughs> so, Lemon, how do you think the episode went? Um, it went pretty okay. Episode one was good. It's been a long road here. We actually did record a whatever we're calling this podcast video but prior to this what movie did we do uh the first one we did as kind of a trial run was twilight twilight which was hilarious we may release that at some point i think we probably will but it definitely wasn't to the standard we were looking for so we re-recorded and i think this one was pretty good there are obviously some spots where we kind of die down and just play the game which in the future i'd like to either fill it with other conversation or try and go back to the movie though i do think we need maybe a little more uh maybe i can get more conversation between us as opposed to just me rattling off the movie the whole time yeah that's fair yeah um other than that i feel good obviously i have an issue with the doors uh I, <laughs> yes <laughs> i didn't talk about it during the game but i have a learning disability that uh, honestly i think was really kicking my ass in that scene I mean, it's a lot of pattern recognition and trying to find the right thing. Which is exactly what my problem is. And I mean, is. it's a hard uh, level, too. Like, it's not an easy place to get around. And as you know, Overcooked is one of my absolute favorite games, so it's not that the game is difficult for me. It was that specific fucking level. Excuse me, we'll bleep that out. <laughs> <laughs> um, what about you, though? How did you feel? I mean, I think from a technical aspect, I think we learned a whole lot about uh, how to do this better in the future. Um, and I think, uh, like all the things you said, I, I think, but I think we had a good time and that's really what's most important. I had a great time. It was fun. Good, good. And Even I, though we I were up you, till two in the morning. We were. We were up so late. I was so tired and frustrated. This is um, the next day, by the way. Yeah. <laughs> um, I think it's a good format and I'm hopefully people will really like this and will go far. Um, just to give you guys a little more insight as well, I am primarily the talent 
and uh, the hilarity and the cutesy. Go on, say whatever you want she, to say. She says that while <laughs> shaking her head. Yes, I'm adorable. <laughs> um, but honestly, I, I am going to get a little more involved in the technicals of the podcast. Wedge is going to do a lot of the technical stuff, editing. He's much better with that sort of thing. I'm not very good with hardware. Yeah, but we're we're just starting out, so we have yeah. a lot of time to learn and ch- do things. And, and that's one of the reasons that we're uh, doing this kind of after show is because, you know, we want to take you on that journey with us. Yeah, I think that would be cool to just kind of discuss, like, what we're doing. Um, I have very big aspirations for this, but I, I don't have... I don't want to say goals, but like I'm, I want to do this for fun, and I want this to be fun for us and fun for the people listening. I'm not trying to make this like a job. Yeah, do you agree? A- absolutely. Yeah. If, so that's If our it goal. becomes too much work, we're gonna stop doing. It. Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> I can't. I can't have another job. Yeah. Um, I kind of touched on it in the podcast earlier, but I am also a stage manager at a theater. I decided I am gonna talk about it in case people want to look it up. It's called All Puppet Players. It's in Phoenix, Arizona. And um, I also have a day job, day job on top of that. So I don't want this to be anything like that. I just want this to be me and you having fun and letting people hang out with us. That sounds great. Well, this has been episode one. We hope to see you in two weeks for the next episode. And if you have any movie or game suggestions, please drop us a line on Instagram or Twitter. Links in the description. I'll be looking forward to them. Thank you so, so much for listening. If you stuck around with us this long, be sure to leave us a lemon emoji in the comments. And then like, smash that subscribe button, and punch that notification bell. We love you, we're sending you good night kisses, and we're tucking you in tight. Uh, Okay, bye! Bye!